Hi, my name is Tommy from Star Repairs and Restorations. Today I will give you a solution on how to overcome a very common and frustrating error with Windows and iTunes. This solution can also be used on other programs showing the same error. It occurs when trying to install or update iTunes and says there is a problem with this Windows installer package. A program required for this install to complete could not be run. I personally had this problem myself and found it very frustrating as there is no videos or help online on how to solve it. Nor could I install iTunes iTunes so I deleted it and then could not reinstall it. All the solutions I found online did not work so I decided to make this video to help others fix this problem quickly and most importantly without stress. Don't forget to hit the bell and subscribe and leave your comments below and tell me what you think about the video. Enjoy! As you can see while trying to update iTunes we get the error. This is very frustrating as you cannot update or reinstall iTunes. So to start with, we'll use the Microsoft Install and Uninstall Utility. We'll close this window, click Finish, go to the Microsoft website. As you can see, you scroll down to the bottom, download on the install uninstall utility save it to your hard drive click open folder double click to install the program okay click next now this is detecting all the problems we wait for it to finish Okay, now we click on uninstalling. Okay, we once again wait till it's done. We scroll down to Apple Software Update and click that, followed by Next. And we click Yes, try uninstall. Now we wait till this program resolves the Windows installer error. And as we can see, problems found, cannot install or uninstall a program and it has been fixed. So we close this window, we download the latest version of iTunes. Once downloaded, we double click to open it up. As you can see, it's installing now. We click next and install. We wait until installation finishes. Congratulations, iTunes has been successfully installed on your computer. Now you can see you have successfully installed the latest version of iTunes. So I hope this video has helped. Don't forget to smash that bell, subscribe, Leave your comments below. Thanks for watching and hopefully we'll see you again soon.